Hello, witch folk. Welcome to our coven. We are angels on broomsticks. We're a mother-daughter duo. And, and we love the makeup. I'm Kristen. And I'm Evangeline. And today we're going to do one of those videos where we do the same makeup look. So we're going to be taking inspo from a photo and both trying to like recreate it, play with it on our own faces, describe what we're doing. So the look we're doing is this one. Pop it up here. And it's stunning. Mm-hmm. It's Chloe somebody or other. Chloe Grace Moretz? Yes. I think I'm saying it's that not right. the Pew girl. Florence Pugh. It's not. But they have similar faces for yes. sure. I love this look. I love her little outfit that matches it. I'm a little intimidated to do it, especially here with my mother who she does her makeup so fast, mm -hmm. and if I was left to my own I'm devices, intimidated, too, because it's almost it's yeah. a smudgy graphic eye. Yeah. But it's things like this I like doing because then I don't, you know, rely on my own devices, which is just hmm. smoke it out, make it all smoogy, like, but this is very precise smudge. Yeah. There's nothing on the bottom. It's a teal color and mm. a pinky shimmery, mm. probably multi chromey Yeah. But we're going to use two palettes, mm -hmm. one uh, both by Natasha Danona. Yeah, so we're um, going to be using the new pastel palette, which we did a review on recently. Probably this shade Dainty is sort of the main pinky shade we'll both be using for the lid. And then the Metropolis has these teals. These ones that look black. Yeah. But they don't, they're not very pigmented, which is interesting. Yeah, let's get started. Um, you know, it really just looks like she has a little bit of peachy blush on her cheeks. That being said, I kind of wanted to try out this little technique I saw someone do on TikTok the other okay. day. She was looking at Marilyn Monroe's makeup. Yes. And like looking at the blush placement and she sort of recreated this really beautiful blush look. Uh, so bear with me if I try this and it looks ridiculous. Well, I want to do it too. Okay, well, okay. instead of contouring, because, um, you know, contour is so big now, um, it was more like a dimensional br blush thing happening. Like, it was like a deeper blush here, like subtly, almost like in those hollows, and then a pinkier blush here. And mm -hmm. it's like a very gentle gradation. She oh, even had the blush going a little bit here. Really? Um, subtle. But not like a blush drape. You know what I don't like about the blush draping where you put it here? It looks like somebody hit you in the face, well, like Will Smith, that. buddy. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> and I don't know, because I have my, like, when I smile, my cheekbones are very, like, apple-y. It's like a weird ridge here that, like, looks Yeah, yeah, funny. I get that, too. I know what you mean. So yeah. I always, like, blush a little lower, so I thought yeah. it might be cool. So I'm going to do, like, something a little more tan, lower, and then a little pink here. Okay, I'm going to do the same. Oh. That sounds good. I'll show you the tutorial at some point okay. after this, too. And um, you're going to use your Patrick Ta... Yeah, I'm going to use, so she used like a terracotta-y shade more as the slight undertone. So I'm using the Patrick Ta. And then I'm going to use this little cute little thing from um, Luna Roots Beauty, Ooh. which I love. It's so cute. It's really beautiful pink lip cheek shade. Yeah. Should I use the same shit? You can try. Okay. Yeah, cool. let's try it. Okay. Because so, she's not doing that. She just has a bit of peach. I figured, you know, why not try something new right now? We can take liberties. Okay. So this shade and like going like, you know, here on your lower apple. Oh, okay. Lower apple. And then mm. she went like up. Oh. So like the way you contour, not not bronze, because bronze should be more a bit higher. Mm-hmm. It's like where you would contour. Boop, boop, boop. Ooh, I like this already. Yeah. It's different. And then and I would I think she did this. She sort of showed off apples and she was like talking about some techniques they did have for a uh, Marilyn Monroe's blush and apparently she wore a lot of Vaseline. Do you love Marilyn Monroe? I like her. I don't not like her. Do I you love, love her? her? Yes, I do. And then she skimmed it up here like from the ends of the eye up. Okay. I'm like not even looking in a mirror. Do you know right I now. could be the reincarnation of Marilyn Monroe? Because you were conceived? I was conceived when she died. Oh my god. On the day of? Well, I don't or know. Nearby. nearby. Mom. Who knows when you were conceived? Do you feel connected to her? I do. I've always felt connected to you her. You probably have a little drop of her in your soul. At I least. do, because the soul pool was open. 
her soul went into the soul pool the day I was conceived, so then the soul, her soul could have came, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now I'm going to go in with a pinky. I don't want to go too heavy-handed with this because I've never tried this technique. I like it already. You already have this little bit of warm dimension, and then this little pinky. Do you use it with your fingers? I, I did my fingies and then, like, do this a little higher and blend it in. Oh. Kind of where you would normally put a blush, you know? Oh, this is nice. And this brand is what? Luna Roots, which I did a paid partnership with, which I was my first paid partnership. Ooh. Very excited. I love it. It's all, um. It's really cute. Clean, very clean, green beauty. She, like, makes it all herself. She, like, literally forages in the forest for Forging shit. in the forest. Foraging in the forest. Yeah. And grows things, and it's like, wow, how do you make this stuff? Stuff. out of plants Amy, i'm in love with this i in love, love with this. this technique or this no this this i know right isn't it yeah, pretty i'm fucking getting it you know what i also like about it sorry it's, look how cute it is but a it goes really well on your lips you know how you try and use a cheek blush on your lips and it kind of is like you mean like rose ink yeah the rose ink doesn't go very well on the lips no, i love rose matter. ink blushes but not on the lips oh, this works very nice this looks like it'll I'm going to get it. Yeah. That'll be cool. Okay. So now I'm just going to buff out the edges. It comes in a little corque. I know. So cute. <laughs> boop, boop. And it fits in your purse really well. Like if you want to touch up your blush. I mean, I like the way this looks. I love it. It's Any, subtle, but. You, you're on to something. Well, it wasn't me. It was this girl on TikTok. I'll have to maybe link the video okay. or something. Anyway, that's cute. Cute that's little cute. cheek. Now we have to do the eyes. Yeah. But you do this kind of graphic eye look all the time. I know. It's just that, like, literally, I'll sit there for, like, an hour, no joke, trying to do it. What are you going to do? I'm going to carve out a shape? Well, I think I was going to start with the pinky part. I was going to do the opposites. Well, then do the opposite, because okay. we're sharing our own methods. Okay. Maybe we'll find one works better than the other, or whatever. So I'm going to use a very, very small angled brush. To start, you know, the kind that you have with your eyebrows. And I am using this teal shade from the Metropolis palette that does have a name. What is that? Enigma. Enigma. I'm going in first with the pinky shade on my lid, dainty, with like a flat brush, and I'm going to pack, pack it on. And this type of flat brush specifically, it's got a very narrow tip, so it's easy to like shape out bit more of a corner because her inner corner is also not smudgy it has some you know structure even though it's subtle i prepped my eyes with the vive eye wand what about you i prepped my eyes with the nars nice. nars eye primer i really like this shade dainty pretty pretty good call i know i'm loving the natasha denona pastel palette don't sleep on it don't sleep on it okay here's something that i show you with with uh something a little more graphic Everyone has this, but this eye just soars up high, this eyebrow, and it's like trying to determine whether I should structure the graphic relaxed or how my eye like normally is, which is like way higher, you know? That's the difficulty. I struggle with the wing because I'm getting all creepy and old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Okay, I did this little wash of color. I'm going to leave that for now, and I'm going to go in with that same shade, I think. It looks like it's a good shade match. It is. And it's it's a color that looks so deep in the pan, yeah. which is one of the, like, an opposite thing. It's not that deep. Okay, so I mapped out a wing, and now I'm going to use a bigger, fluffier brush, but not that much bigger. Maybe one of these sort of pencil brushes. Yeah, I just have this little angled brush like you had. It's, a little, it's pretty chunky towards the outer edges. It is. Which I appreciate. Me too. Because that's less precision involved. I do like this series because it's sort of like looks we might not necessarily, you know, turn to ourselves. So it's a good little challenge. Fun to play with colors you wouldn't think of. Exactly. This is a strange dry formula, Natasha. It is? Do you think, oh, are you on it? Yeah. 
I haven't noticed anything. I don't think my brush is right. I'm gonna use something like a thicker flat brush. I'm starting to kind of create that curve on the side, how it goes in. It's a very rounded curve though. I think I got it on one side. <sighs> I think I'm gonna take a bit of a denser, flat, short brush, going in with that same shade and just starting to buff out this corner, you know, round it Just struggle it out. with one, one eye. Yeah. Okay. Part of me's thinking I'll do one eye for you and then do yeah, the like... other one off camera because it's just going to take forever. And then something I struggle with with this kind of eye is like, how much do I want to round out the top here, you know? like. I think I need to blend it out with an even fluffier, softer brush. I'm all right. I'm all right. Oh, you look, yours is good. Is yours it? Is, yeah, is yeah, it coming yeah, yeah. along? Mine is not. It seems like it has some shimmer on it too, the blue yeah. part. So I'm gonna. We have some tealy yeah. shimmers. I think that might help me. Actually. Do you see? Do you see what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> I would say very, very close to her lash line, right, right here. Just the tiniest bit seems to be extra deep, so I'm gonna go in with this darker blue, just like yeah. right here. And I'm not bringing mine in quite as far as hers, I don't think I will. Me neither. I can't do that, nope. <laughs> Maybe just a little bit, but. <sighs> Stressing out. In a way, I feel like mine's looking more structured than hers. That's okay. Yeah, I think I wanna. Mine is the opposite. Mine's running and uh, crying and <laughs> but maybe that's how we do it yeah this is how we do it i'm trying to like take the pigment that's already there and like just kind of start blending it into the more center part of the eye and like just oscillating between doing that and going in with the deeper deeper shade okay i'm not hating what i'm doing right now now that i blended it with a fluffy it's not quite as structured, but maybe that's what's meant to be. I'm gonna go in to the sparkly shades then, the sparkly teal. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it yeah, yep, 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 yep. I wouldn't be surprised if this is what they used. Yeah, I'm just kind of patting the shimmery blue on top. Okay, I'm loving it. <laughs> this is you. Ah, what am I doing, what am I doing? And then you just always hit this time where you're like, I'm loving it. But this is why I love it. It's like a master class that we're all doing by ourselves. Okay, so I'm gonna do the sparkly, I mean the pink sparkly. Did you use your fingies? No, I used like a brush like this. Okay. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with this side. I'm gonna start on the other side, but... Uh, do you wanna do it off the camera? Well, are you done one side? I'm kind of getting there. I might. Just blend a little bit more mm. here, this side. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do this eye off camera. <laughs> and if we do any changes, we'll let you know. But this is sort of the main moment. And we'll come back probably with mascara too. Sure. <clears throat> okay, we're back. Yes. And yeah, I like this look. It turned out a little bit more graphic than I was trying for, but I mean, I it's all love well it. and good. I'm <laughs> loving it. She loves every look she does. Thank you. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, her lip is pretty neutral. Yes. So I'm just gonna use this new lipstick I got from Merit called Slip. And it's just a very good neutral. I'm gonna use um, a neutral I got, or it's called the Nude from Melt. Ho, Ho is Life. Ho? Ho. Ho. Her yeah. lip is kind of blurry. Mm hmm Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I love this look. I love this exercise. We'll do it more, right? Yeah. If anyone has any looks they want us to recreate, let us know. So I think maybe I will try this blurry lip. Just kind of like sloppily going along the top and stuff, you know? I love this packaging. Mm hmm So pretty. Okay, yeah, these are the finished looks. Let us know your thoughts down below. Would you try this look? Uh, do you like this look? Uh, I think this is a very red carpet look. 
I could see this on the red carpet for sure with a dress the same color. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I wonder if she was probably at some movie premiere or something for this look. It's pretty yeah. glam. Yeah. I might not necessarily do it on the everyday, but definitely mm. a going out look, I agree. But I might try it like with the neutral, like just mm. laying low from under eyes. There's nothing here except for mascara. Yeah. Mascara. Mascara. And then, you know, just playing with two colors, basically. Yeah, it's true. Mm -hmm. It's not very complicated. Like, you don't need a ton of, yeah, different shades for this, really. No. Two tones. A little yeah. bit of shimmer, a bit of a darker shade, and like a smoky graphic. Can't go wrong. But I'm loving the blush tutorial from yeah. that girl. Yes. I showed it to her when we did our mascara, so maybe I can link it down below. It's a TikTok video. I think I can do that. Uh, cause it's really cool. I think I'm gonna uh, channel it. Me too. Some more, cause yeah, like I said, I don't like the blush draping up here. No, cause it looks like you're burned or something. I think it only works for some people. You yeah. know who it works for? Lauren May. Beauty. Yes. How'd yeah. you know? Cause she blush drapes. She's, it looks stunning on yeah, her. Yeah. It's like, I think cause she has more fullness here. When you have hollowness, which a lot of people do, cause your eye sockets are there, hollow for your eyeballs. <laughs> It just creates this weird bumpy. And then when you have wrinkles, it's just like, mm. I have wrinkles. But whatever. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. It's a good look, though, this Marilyn Monroe blush. Yeah. I'm going to practice it some more. Try it with some different shades. You might not need to use bronzer again. Yeah, that's We'll true. talk about it. We'll talk about that In coming another up. another video, yeah. All right. So, uh, well, uh, why did I forget my lines? I've been saying them for years. A year. Don't forget to like, subscribe, like, and comment, love, make stay a comment it. and stuff. And stay witchy, stay, stay bitchy. bitchy. Have a good week. Bye, Bye witches. witches.